Good morning and a good afternoon, good evening. Hello, Face Yogi. It's Sumika from the Face Yoga Method. How is everybody doing? So it is almost the end of August and I can't believe it. But before I start talking about today's topic, I like to know if you can hear me and see me okay. And please let me know if you can see me and hear me. Hello, Mantha and hi, Susanna. Thank you so much for joining me. So you can see me and hear me okay? All right, lovely, lovely, I like it. Okay, and a Claudia, beautiful, yes. And a Jean, and thank you. And you can also tell me where you are from. Hi, Miyuki, Ohio, and Mandar, and a Jasmine, and thank you. It's so nice to have you all here, and I really appreciate that. And before I start, I just want to say thank you again uh, for my husband's beautiful birthday wishes. Many of you sent to him or posted here, and I really appreciate it. My husband really touched deeply. And there's a confession to make. Our daughter Nina, my daughter Nina, tested positive COVID, and we don't know where she got it. It could be the uh, orthodontist or it could be from school. So please, everybody, be careful. Wash your hands and take care of yourself because it can happen. And she's doing great. But, you know, she had a little fever and she's so bored at home. So it's my job and my husband's job to take care of her and um, just have every day like normal. And with that, it's almost September. And face yogis, I want to start with this. Have you achieved your goal <laughs> you set out at the beginning of this year? Okay, I know statistically many people like to start new year with full intention of, okay, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and then lots of lists. So new year is a resolution. This is beautiful, right? You get excited to start new year with fresh ideas and all the visions and dreams. But according to statistics, by mid-February, over 90% of these New Year's resolution fell flat. Means people even forget, can't keep up with it. So that means it's already September, almost. September is just around the corner. And I like to know how many of you are still keeping your New Year's resolution and are very happy with the result. Let me know. I like to know. So if you're like, yes, it's me, I'm keeping my New Year's resolutions and everything is perfect, yes, let me know in the comments because I have a confession to make. Yes, even though I like to write, I like to follow my routine every day, okay? Get up early and do meditation and yoga or any kind of exercise and then read at least 15 minutes, which I often do, but it's difficult, especially this year and last year. It's not easy for me. Sometimes I feel like I just want to drop everything <laughs> because it's hard. And right now my daughter is at home. So that means everything has to change according to her schedule. And I had a hard time this morning too, even just to come in front of that computer and do the work I'm supposed to do. Okay. So I, um, I said, it's not easy. I totally understand. So let me know. Okay, send me some some information about, you know, the struggle you're having. And also, let's say, go back to the topic, New Year's resolution, okay? If you fell flat and if you feel like, ah, my New Year's resolution just, it won't exist, it is okay. You can start even from today. Or if it's hard today, you can start even tomorrow. Many of us think that, New Year's resolution is the only time. You know, New Year is the only time we can restart. No, we can reinvent. We can restart anytime and change your mood and change your mindset instantly if you put your mind into it, okay? So that's something I wanna tell you too. So if it's hard for you today, start tomorrow. That is okay. It was hard for me this morning. We were like in a chaos. So tomorrow, all start that is okay what is most important thing for you is for me too is that stay in the moment 
right? When you start worrying about, oh, I couldn't do this last week, I couldn't do it, you know, yesterday. Well, you are living in the past. Why don't you create a new routine tomorrow, starting tomorrow? It's never too late. I like this quote from Eleanor Roosevelt. She said, today you are the oldest you have ever been in your life. And you are the youngest you will ever be in the rest of your life. That is so true. Even this moment, your life is moving, choo, 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 right? Five seconds ago is a past. So create your routine and don't feel bad if you're not keeping up with it because I'm one of them, right? So building a face yoga routine, I know, you know, people like face yoga and the people been asking routine and you are watching me right now means you know, you're interested, you're already practicing face yoga, right? So if that's the case, if it's a hard for you to create a routine, that's something I often hear. Like, ah, just don't have a space for self-care. I just don't have a time for myself. I just don't feel confident as, you know, I show my face to the world like, oh, I'm just getting old. That's what I hear. That's what I hear from people. Like, I'm getting old. We are getting old every single day. That's a fact. It doesn't matter how old, how young you are. The moment you are here, physically born is this physical world. You're getting older, but you're getting wiser too, right? I like my age. So if that's the case, and if you are feeling not motivated or excited your life, think about the people around you, even the people you know, online community, or I don't know if you have any social media, how, who you're connected to, what kind of people you're attracted to, to. The important thing is that if you spend the time physically, well, right now it's not easy for many of us, right? Or even, you know, sending a message to each other. And if you feel like your energy levels goes down, ah, maybe those people are not the people you want to spend time with right now. You need maybe somebody who brings your energy, brings the level that you feel good. Think about the people when you talk or when you receive a text or, you know, email, it makes you feel good. So that's kind of people you want to spend time with. I'm not saying those people who brings your energy down are bad. It's just not in the same wavering, right? So you need a community or you need a people who makes you feel good. That's a key. And then think about the place that you are so comfortable and so happy because you are surrounding yourself with people, like-minded people. You can have the same conversation, same language, same passion. And then after you talk to them, you feel like, wow, that was a good conversation. So that's the kind of people, that's the kind of group or community you want to spend more time with. So think about that. What is important for you right now? Okay, is it important because you want to be part of the group? Is it important because you are afraid of to say no and just want to re-evaluate re your life? That makes a huge difference too. And also, I don't know how many of you are still in the momentum of the New Year's excitement. Like, yes, New Year's. I love New Year's, by the way, because I can come up with so many great ideas and exciting you know, plans and all that. So before I talk more about it, I just want to go quickly and see what people are saying. Okay, here you go. So let's see. Okay. All right. Yes, Cindy, a great short routine to do when... A rush day otherwise I do something every day for my face yeah the short routine I love I like that short routine I have a short routine I usually do exercise at least one hour a day okay it can be a yoga it can be um, high intensity interval training or any kind of exercise but when I get busy I just don't have a one hour I sometimes do 30 minutes and sometimes even 10 minutes it makes a huge difference the way I feel about myself okay all right and I like to know. Okay, yes. So, all right, yeah. So, Carlson, I want to look beautiful. Okay, yes, everybody wants to look beautiful. But you know, think about it. The beauty comes from inside too. If you're feeling good about yourself, it changes everything, okay? So think about the routine. If you wanna feel, look beautiful, what can you do? What is missing in your daily routine, okay? So. You want to maybe even a list. 
create a list and write it down what you want to do. Okay, that is simple, but that can change a lot of things too. Okay, good. All right. Yes, uh, Sherry, thank you. So happy you're in my life. I'm so happy you're in my life too. Thank you. Yes. Um, okay, I'm gonna go. All right. So um, if you feel like that, many people, including myself, sometimes like you can't create a space for your self care. Self-care is easy. Yes, I understand, but it's not easy. Or if you feel you don't have a confidence as we show our face to the world, you know, some reason, like I just don't like to look at myself. That's a sign that you need something. You need to change some routine or skincare or practice because if you started avoiding looking at yourself in a mirror, that means you're kind of separating your feeling, separating yourself from that your face so maybe it's a time for you to really look at yourself and say what do I need to feel good and look good the best version of myself what do I need okay so think about that too and then if you lost the momentum that is okay too it happens to me but like I said earlier just pick up any time even right this right this moment you can change something how about if you do a couple of face yoga poses and see how that changes your mood? I guarantee when you spend more time with yourself, self-care and self-love, things will shift and the people around you um, react to you differently, treat you differently. Okay? Even me, if I'm in a good mood, if I take care of myself, my family, my husband and my daughter, they treat me differently because I'm in a better mood versus like, Okay, I got to I got to go to my office. I have to go to my office. They don't like that face. But if I say I'm going to go to the office, so I'll see you later. They are fine because I'm giving up the energy because I take it myself and then they know that it's important for them to see me being satisfied, being happy and taking care of myself, spending a time with myself. And that can apply to every single person in my family too. All right, so so I know that's the questions I receive a lot and people often lose the momentum. And I have all the secrets to help you to build a momentum or maintain the momentum if you already have and to be a successful face yoga practitioners. And that's something people always, always ask me, what can I do to get rid of double chin? What can I do? to tone the eye area? What can I do to get the glow on the face? What can I do to be happy with myself? So tomorrow I'm hosting okay, a free training so you can learn the three secrets in the thousands of women all over the world have implemented into their life. And like I said, all over the world and some people are busy some people have more time but it doesn't matter you can create the momentum and then I'll share the three secrets you can do too so that you can achieve the goal you want to create you create the momentum and also boost confidence which is important for many of us especially when you hit certain age right every face is beautiful but when you hit certain age you start seeing something like oh yep and also naturally firm tighten and then strengthen the entire face and neck yes I hear the question said yeah what's a good one for the eye area I'll show you what you can do but you have to commit yourself to please okay you cannot just do one day one pose and then the rest of the month you forget about it no it's a momentum it's a mindset you create the routine even one pose well ideally a little bit more but that's how you started seeing the changes on your face and the body too okay so are you ready to join me I hope I can see you tomorrow too and this live training will not be on the Facebook okay because there's so many people joining we already have so many people show the interest and if you want to join um, there's a private link to this training and you have to you know respond um, you have to respond so that we can put you in the training okay and I think I can put the link and I can post the link you know the um, in this live too so come and join and like I said 
it's not in a Facebook. It's in a private link and you have to join in order to participate the free training. And I will take, um, I will ask you, what do you want to see? What kind of pose you want to do? And I show you poses too. And we're going to practice together. So stay tuned and then put your name and I will see you tomorrow. And thank you so much for joining me today too. And I hope to see you tomorrow and we can start reinvent ourselves, but also create that routine that you can really see the result, your face and a mind, the one you always wanted to see and a feel good and a great about your face and your life. All right, thank you so much. And I'm going to do some exercise after I finish this live. Right, you too, right? Love you and bye.